Hello and welcome. Today we're looking at Key Stage 3 Biology and it's the menstrual cycle as part of reproduction in humans. So we're looking at the menstrual cycle and this is always to do with females, not just humans but in mammals as well. And to start us off, or as a little recap, let's have a look at the parts of the female reproductory system. Here we've got the ovary, there's actually two of them in that yellowy kind of colour. So there's two ovaries, one on each side. And next we have the tubes that lead from the ovaries. These are called the oviducts, sometimes called the fallopian tubes, but there's two of those. We then have the womb, sometimes called the uterus. Either word is fine. And the final label is the vagina. So these are the key parts we need to know and be able to refer to. An egg is matured in the ovary. So there's an egg. I just enlarged it there so you can see it a bit more clearly. So we can just put that back. We'll keep it looking quite large because we're going to do some work with that in a moment. Uh, but the key point to remember is that the menstrual cycle for humans lasts around about 28 days. It can be a little bit more, a little bit less, but 28 days is the approximate time scale for this whole cycle to work. So what actually happens during the cycle? The first thing is, or we could start off with the release of an egg. That egg will be released and travel down the oviduct. That takes usually about three days. Um, very often, in fact, most of the time, the egg is not fertilized. The egg is not fertilized. And so then it will carry on, travel to the womb. And then after a short amount of time, it will be passed out of the body through the vagina, along with the lining of the womb. So there the egg and the lining of the womb passes out of the body. And that is called menstruation or the period. We then have the development and maturing of another egg, and then that would go through the same process as that egg we just looked at. And as we said, that takes about 28 days. So we can summarize that on this uh, slide here. So we start off with, and remember it's a cycle, so we're just gonna start off at the point where the egg matures and is released from an ovary, or from the ovary passes down into the womb or the uterus through the oviduct and if not fertilized and the vast majority of the time it's not fertilized it will travel to the womb egg travels to the womb and then after a short period of time the egg is removed from the body egg is removed from the body along with the lining of the womb along with the lining of the womb and that as we said is called menstruation sometimes referred to as the period so menstruation or the period so this is a cycle and it continues, as we said, on roughly a 28 day cycle. That's the menstrual cycle. Now we can look at a slightly different version of that same thing. Here we're looking at a graph and we've got a number of days along the bottom of the graph. And the Y axis in this case refers to the thickness of the lining of the womb thickness of the lining of the womb so as you can see it varies in thickness over time if we were to have if we were to look to see what happens over day zero to day five this is where we have menstruation or the period so looking back here we're talking about the point here where the egg is removed from the body along with the lining of the womb that's what we mean by the period and that usually lasts around about five days then we have the new cycle, and part of the new cycle is a couple of things that happen. The first thing is that the lining of the womb starts to rebuild. So we say it rebuilds or it thickens. And secondly, 
a new egg matures. A new egg matures ready for release. This happens between day five and day 14. Around about day 14, we have the release of the egg. So the egg is released, as we saw previously. That's around about day 14. And then after that, we can see that the lining of the womb is maintained for a little while, is maintained for a little while while the egg travels to the womb through the oviducts. And that's kind of shown in the diagram over day 14 up to day 28. And day 28 being the last kind of day is when we go back to day zero, if you like, and where we have the period or menstruation. And you can see the lining of the womb becomes much thinner. That's because it has been lost from the body during the period. Okay, so this was basically the menstrual cycle and the key bits of information you need to know. I've just made a little note there about those wiggly lines. One or two people asked me what those were, and these are just showing blood vessels that provide nutrients for the lining of the womb. And you sometimes see those in a diagram. But remember, there's a work along sheet which you can use to work along with the video. Um, other than that, that's it for today's video. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.